Well, tonight, a Spokane family's back porch is covered with blood and broken glass, reminding them of the terror they faced when a stranger broke into their house. I, I just, I wanted to touch them and hold them and hug them. I just, I was just thinking my whole world is, is over. Well, this woman who we're going to call Jane says her wife and daughter were trapped in a bedroom yesterday when a man broke in screaming he was going to rape the woman. Little did he know she was armed with a knife and she stabbed him over and over until police could get to them. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. Thanks to that South Hill mom's quick thinking, she and her daughter are recovering tonight while the suspect is behind bars. Taylor Graham checked in with the family today and she's live with their horrifying story. Taylor. Yeah, guys, we are in the Lincoln Heights area right now. This family knows this as their safe place, but what unfolded yesterday has them second guessing everything. Now, they don't want their names or faces out there, but they were brave enough to relive this nightmare with us today. I mean, you think the danger is on the road or, you know, somewhere else. Sometimes it's in your home. Before danger forced its way into Jane's home Monday, Spokane police say it knocked first. Her wife opened, then closed the door on this man, Nicholas Abraham, who was asking for money to get to Las Vegas. He eventually left, but then he came back. My daughter was just screaming, screaming into the phone, and I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what was wrong, but she said something about he got in, he got in. Jane's wife and daughter locked themselves in their bedroom when they say Abraham threw a brick inside and started to make his way in. That's when she stabbed him three times in the chest, but that didn't stop him. You know, he mentioned raping her. He didn't say the word rape. He said other horrible, horrible things to her. She stabbed him two more times and Spokane police arrested him on their back porch, now covered in his blood. Tainted, Jane says, like the rest of their home. Whether you live in like a tiny, you know, studio apartment or you live in a big mansion, that's your solace. That's your safe place. And I wasn't even here, and I feel like it's just not that anymore. The danger that forced its way in Monday has forced Jane's family to look at what used to be their safe space in a new light. If you have kids, sometimes just hold them for no reason, just because sometimes some man might take them away from you. Now, Jane and her family have a message for you tonight. Arm yourself at home, whether that's with an alarm system or a knife or a bat. Now, her daughter and her wife are physically okay tonight, but mentally, that's a different story. Jane says when we knocked on their door for the story today, her wife was so scared she had to hide, and now they're looking into therapy. Aaron.